In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a mental subtraction technique called partitioning, which I also call splitting because it involves splitting the second number. In this example, 45 take away 24, the second number that I'm taking away is 24, and I'm going to split that into its units and tens, like so. So here, instead of taking away 24, I'm now going to take away 4 and then take away 20. I've split, I've partitioned 24 into its units and its tens. I've split it into take away 4, take away 20. All right, that now becomes really quite straightforward to do in my head. 45 take away 4 is 41, and then 41 take away 20 is 21. So the answer is 21. Try another example. With all my mental maths, what I tend to do is either sketch or imagine a number line or imagine a 100 square. I find that they help me quite a lot when I'm doing mental uh, additional mental subtraction. So that's why I've got them here. OK, here we go. 89 take away 34. So splitting the second number into units and tens, what I would be doing then is taking away 4 and then taking away 30. See how I've split that into units and tens, take away 4 and then take away 30. Right, on a number line, this is how I would draw it out. Um, 89 is my starting number, so that's the first number that I need to write on the number line. I'm taking away 4 first of all and then taking away 30. OK, what does that look like? 89 take away 4 is 85, and 85 take away 30 is 55. So when I do it like that with a number line, I barely even need to think about what I'm doing. OK, on a vertical number line, very similar. 89 is my starting number. Take away 4 first of all, and then take away 30. So 89 take away 4 is 85. 85 take away 30 is 55. And then over here on the 100 square, I would start at 89, which is there. Take away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 85 to start with. And then take away 30. So take away 10, take away 20, take away 30. Lands me on 55. So the answer is 55. And I got that uh, using partitioning by splitting the second number into the tens and units. Let's try another example. 61 take away 22. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to split 22 into take away 2 and then take away 20. So you might be thinking, why am I splitting it so with the, and then writing the units first and then the tens? Well, the reason is because when you come to doing a written method of subtraction, that's what you would do. You would take away the units and then you would take away the tens. So it's good to get into that habit of, even when you're doing this mentally, taking away the units first and then taking away the tens. Right, on a number line, I would write down the starting number, which is 61. Take away 2, take away 20. OK, 61 take away 2 is 59, and then 59 take away 20 is 39. Over here on a vertical number line, write down the starting number, 61, take away 2, take away 20, uh, 61 take away 2, 59, 51 take away 20, 39. And on a 100 grid, if you prefer, there's 61, take away 2, take away 1, take away 2, that's 59, and then take away 20, Take away 10, take away 20, is 39. And you can see, as I'm doing it, I'm actually touching the 100 square. Or when I'm using the number line, I'm physically moving my pencil over the page to try and represent the movement. And again, that's something that really helps me picture what's going on. OK, I'm going to leave you with this. How would you use partitioning to solve these problems? 23 take away 5.6. 11.5 take away 7.7, 7, 461 take away 198. 
If you want to pause the video here and have a think about that, I'm going to resume in about five seconds with my suggestion as to how I would partition and then subtract. Okay, let's try it then. 23 take away 5.6. Well, this is the number that I'm going to split. I would split it here. Uh, so I would do 23 take away, first of all, 0 0.6. I'd, I'd always take away the smallest part first, the smallest um, split. Then I'm going to take away the next largest partition, uh, which is 5. So I do 23 take away 0 0.6 and then take away 5. With this one, again, something very similar, split it there. So I'll do 11.5, take away 0 0.7, and then take away 7. And with this one, I get to split it twice. So I'd split it here and here. 461, take away 8, take away 90, take away 100. That's pretty easy to do, isn't it? 461 take away 8 is going to give me something like 453, and then take away 90, and then take away a further 100. I can do that probably quite easily. Okay, that's the end of that video. I've got a couple more videos in the series on mental subtraction. One is on counting back, and another is on compensating. So have a look at those. Okay, thanks.